Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, I need to come up with an intro for my videos, but this one, um, this video I got quite a lot of messages about and a lot of comments about on my recent post with Smashbox Canada, which was fortunately a partnership that I did and I'm so lucky to be doing that because I've been using the Smashbox primer since I was a competitive dancer and was, you know, doing competitions and shows and I needed to have my makeup set on my face for long hours at a time. Um, because stage makeup, as you may or may not know, is quite heavy. So. I've sort of picked it up again uh, as I was doing photo shoots and I'm so happy to be, you know, working with a company that I already organically love. But um, once I posted that photo, I got so many messages and comments being like, please post a makeup tutorial. Um, and I'm not just making this up. People actually asked. So <laughs> I'm not just being one of those people here. Um, but I will be showing you how I get this makeup look, which is my photo shoot makeup. I will tell you in advance, it is a lot more makeup than I put on normally, but if you're on camera, um, it's a great one. It's super flattering on camera and it will make your skin look glowy. So I hope you try it out and I hope it works for you. And uh, you can see the description below for links to all of the products that I used. So without further ado, let's get started. We're filming this video I'm sitting on the floor in my living room because I don't have good lighting anywhere else um, before we even prime our skin you need to have a good hydrating skincare routine otherwise your makeup is just gonna flake and this hydrating um, skincare routine will also just enhance the job or the work that the primer does so I personally I after cleansing I'll just use this equilibrium Restoring Essence from Hourglass. It's their newly launched skincare line. So I've already put that on my face. Uh, it's really, really light. So if you don't want things that are too occlusive, that's why I use this before I do heavy makeup because it's like water. Um, and then I like to use this uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty um, Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. And if you're a fan of Augustinus Bader, they collaborated on uh, her skincare line, so it's a really, really fantastic product. And this one is the golden shade, so it's infused with um, mica free, which is fantastic, um, gold shimmer, so it gives you a more radiant look. Um, so that's basically it for skincare. Uh, you can see I have a lot of dark spots, so this makeup look is going to cover all of that up. Um, and I think now we're ready to prime. So what I'm going to use, and I've talked about this a lot, I've been using this primer since I was 13. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is everything. <laughs> um, especially before uh, big photo shoot days, this is a really good one. So I... Also, don't find that it clogs my pores and it's really light as well. It's got this clear finish here. So that's this product and it really doesn't take a lot. Like this tube is going to last you a long time and I'm kind of lazy and I just rub it between my palms and then. Um, okay, so now that we're primed, um, this next step is a tip I learned from Beauty by Nate. I will link um, her channel below. And her trick is to put concealer on before your foundation. And this is kind of like a hybrid concealer and foundation. That's how it's marketed, but it's super thick compared to the products that I normally use. So I dub it as a concealer. It is the Marc Jacobs um, Extra Shot um, Concealer. I really like this. It's supposed to have caffeine in it, which is supposed to wake up your face. Um, I could use all of the waking up in the world. Uh, so I put this like everywhere. I basically use it as a foundation. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. I use this um, brush that I got with a Chanel foundation. I really like this one. I don't think they sell it online, but any brush that's shaped like this should do. Uh, and before blending, I use this Esthederm Eau Cellulaire Mist for my brushes. I just find that it gives a more flawless finish. Um, and it makes the makeup sit more naturally. I really don't like 
um, just using a dry brush. It's the same thing if you're using a beauty blender, which would work just as well here, but I find those are a lot more difficult to clean. Um, and because I have pretty acne prone skin, I need something that's easier for me to clean. And then I'm going to go back and further spot conceal any problem areas. So. Uh, and then I'm going to go in with a lighter concealer. So I just didn't use a different shade, but I have already a lighter concealer uh, from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Magic Away Concealer. The only thing is that this packaging is really frustrating and I can't. There we go. I can't get it open, um, but I just use this for under my eyes because now I have dark circles. So I just put that all underneath my eye. Okay, now that we are all concealed, we need to, oh, we're still not done with the base. Um, we need to set that. So I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Um, bless this powder. It is my favorite translucent powder. I'm using the shade 2 Medium. And I'm just going to use this powder brush, also from Charlotte Tilbury, and just... And now we're gonna put on foundation. I know that sounds like a lot, but when you're on camera, you just, you need a little extra layer. Um, and this is not quite my color. So I'm gonna be using the uh, Westman Atelier Vital, Found Vital Skin Foundation Stick. I love this because Gucci Westman, if you've seen any of the work that she does, her clients are so glowy always. And that is the type of radiance that I'm trying to achieve in my look. So I really like her products. And if you also know me, I really prefer cream products. I find that this really gives a dewy finish that I like. So same with the concealer. I just apply it kind of like in stripes across my face and on my nose and on my forehead and on my neck, uh, which is good because then I don't forget to blend. And then we're gonna take a different brush. We're going to use, this one's actually, oh, this one is the Westman Atelier foundation stick. And again, I'm gonna spray that and we're gonna blend. But okay, before I forget also, you need to prime your lips. So I'm using the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and you just put a good amount we need to contour a little bit to warm up our skin. So I'm using this Westman Atelier stick and biscuit for underneath here, here. And a little bit on my nose. And again, I'm gonna take the same brush Using the, to warm up the skin now because it's looking a little olive. <laughs> um, maybe that's just the shirt I'm wearing. Um, is the Chanel Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Bronzer and it's also a cream formula. So I'm going to take my beloved Fenty foundation brush and just swirl that in there. And then I'm going to just kind of go wherever needs warming up. Just kind of all over. A little bit better. From there we're gonna do one more layer of powder before we add some dimension back into our face. So I'm going to, where's my powder? There it is. 
put translucent powder again on my face. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna do is use this Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Blush. And the one that I have is Dim Infusion. It's kind of like a corally pink. Um, and I'm gonna take this round end of this Hourglass brush that I have and go crazy. So I put that on my cheeks and you can already see it looks a little bit more three-dimensional and a lot less um, of that weird color that was coming out before. I even put some on my forehead, a little bit, not a lot. Um, I put some on the bridge of my nose here to give that kind of sun-kissed look. I put some on my chin. Anywhere that I want to look three-dimensional is where I put blush. After the blush, I put on this um, uh, ambient lighting palette from Hourglass as well. It is their dim light and incandescent. Oh, it's a combination of dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light, but I just mix all three of them. And I use the pointier end of this double-sided brush. I mix all of the highlighters and I put that on the bridge of my nose first especially on the tip of my nose and on my cheekbones all the way up to my brow bone and just dust that on same thing oh I got a little hair on the other side I apply that on my chin, just kind of over the blush um, here. And on just above my brows. So you're pretty much done with your base, which is good because that was like an extreme amount of steps for me. I normally just do like a five minute makeup routine, but sometimes when you've got to shoot, you gotta, you gotta adjust. Eyes, I actually put blush on my eyes. Totally forgot this, but I do this every time. So I'm going to use today the Westman Atelier um, blush stick. The shade is called Doo Doo, like D-O-U, not D-O-O. -O. Or I use the Merit Flush Balm in um, Raspberry Beret. But since we're using a lot of Gucci Westman, I'll just keep going. So I put that on my fourth finger and I just dab that on to my eyes. From there, we're gonna do brows. So I'm gonna use the Hourglass Arch, oh, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. And there's two sides to this. So there's this brush side. I'm going to use, um, I already have pretty full brows already, so I usually just fill in the ends, uh, with the other side. I really like this, can't tell if you can see it, um, but I like this thicker pencil. It really delivers a good pigment, so I just fill it out lightly from here just to fill in the ends because the ends are a little bit more sparse filling in it's not much and then I'm gonna take the hourglass um, clear brow gel today I also really like the La Bouche Rouge um, gel I don't know why I paused there and I just brush them up so my tip when it comes to eyes is you should curl your eyelashes before you put on eyeliner maybe this is just because of my eye shape but when I put on eyeliner and then I curl my eyelashes, the eyeliner gets smudged. I curled my eyelashes before the video, so sorry. Um, Cause I just never think it's pretty on camera. I just don't wanna, you know, you know how to curl your lashes and everyone is super picky and different. Um, but the best eyelash curler I've ever used is a Shuamura one, I don't use anything else. Um, so I'm using the Victoria Beckham Beauty Satin Kajal Liner in Cocoa. And the best part about this 
is that it's double-ended. So people liked the soft eyeliner look that I did. This is gonna be really hard to show on camera because um, I'm not good at doing eyeliner on camera, but I don't, for shoots, I don't line on my water line. I line actually just above so you can visibly see the line. And I just go like this. I do kind of like a back and forth motion. We're going to use the other side to blend the eyeliner and draw it out. So I just do the same thing with the other side. It's this like foamy type. Um, and then I just draw it out. This part's a little trickier. Sometimes I just use my finger. Um, but it's a pretty forgiving product. You can just keep blending like that. So that's what I do. Uh, you can see the difference that it makes. It just makes my eyes look bigger. Uh, if I'm feeling fancy, I'll actually just take a little bit under the eye as well, like that. So we'll repeat the same thing on the other eye. For mascara, my favorite is normally the Chanel Volume Noir, um, but I'm trying out this clean mascara. I really, really like the brush on the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. It is a tube mascara, so it washes off only with water. I've tried oil cleansers, micellar water, everything. You really just gotta get water on there and it just like kind of peels off. Um, but the brush is really nice on this one. It's got kind of like a, a curve, so. And there you go. I never put mascara on my bottom lashes. I hate when they do that to me at photo shoots. It just makes me look like a spider. So I'm really big on liquid lipstick lately and I love this color um, by Chanel. It is their Rouge Allure Lac um, liquid lipstick and I'm using this color from their spring collection. Uh, it is called Dark Blossom. It looks like this. And I just put that on because we've already primed our lips with moisturizer. That's what I find works best for liquid lipsticks. I used to do the reverse. I used to put the lipstick on before lip balm and it just would flake and stain totally unevenly. Um, so just do this. You can either go back and do another coat. I like how much pigment this has already. So I'm just going to put more lip balm on so it kind of you know sets it and then to finish it all off i'm going to do a final spray of this oh uh this oh micellaire oh cellulaire sorry from esthederm and that just kind of sets everything all together um and there you go that is my photo shoot day look. It's a very heavy makeup look, so I don't do this every day. Um, okay, well, it's heavy for me, um, but I find that it turns out really well on camera and you still look dewy and natural even though you're wearing a lot of product on your face. So <laughs> that is everything. I hope you try it out and let me know how it goes for you. Thank you.